All right, everybody. So what we are doing today is 4.01 project. And so just in case if you are not able to get to it from the schedule or you're doing this after the due date, we're going to go from the home page and show you where to go. So you would go to the English for a home page, go to content. And as that loads, where you look down the left hand side, for four love sonnets, so that's our unit four. Click on it, and under 4.01 here, or you can go up here, 4.01, click the learn, and it brings you to the project itself. Now you've got 4.01 option one, which is the required, if you do not choose option two, of course, so you gotta do one or the other. This one is where you're going to just interpret a sonnet that is already in the unit. In 4.01 option 2, you are going to create your own original sonnet after identifying some things in the sonnet that you would like to um, include. There is also the Unit 4 Wakelet to help you out um, in finding out you know, what exactly a sonnet is, those kinds of things to help you. All right. So then, here's the exacts on the option one. So here it says, what does it mean for each line? And so you are literally choosing one of the uh, sonnets from our unit, from pages 64 to 81 in the textbook. You put the poem here, and then you paraphrase, which means that you can use some of the same words, um, but you're trying to figure out exactly what it's meaning. So it's that are our AP strategy we were talking about before. So read, read, ask questions in your head. You don't have to write those out and then paraphrase. And so line by line, you're literally going to say what it is. If you want to find out more about the RRAP strategy, there is a different video for that um, that you can click on that is within um, the course, or you could also go to the recordings page. All right, once you've done this part of it, you will go down to B and you summarize. You make that interpretation that you had above and you say, you know, like, this is the quote from the poem. This is what I feel it's, you know, talking about. But try to avoid using I. So, you know, like, to be or not to be, in quotation marks, is referring to blah de blah de blah that kind of thing. I know to be or not to be is Hamlet, but just for an example. All right, and number two, in the same poem you chose, identify at least two elements in this poem that make it a sonnet and give an example of each. And so, you know, like, is it the rhyme scheme? Maybe A, B, C, D, C, D, E, F, E, F, G, G. So this is Shakespearean rhyme scheme because these words rhyme, that kind of thing. Um, if you want more some ideas, example, then when you go to the 4.01 project option two, there are lots of different possibilities um, of things that you can um, include. So this one says choose one unless it says otherwise for each of the following and highlight these are elements of sonnets. The first one is done for you. So lines in a sonnet, 14 lines. Maybe rhyme scheme, you want to choose one of these. Topic, which one are you going to go for? Poetic elements, you want to choose two. And if you want to challenge yourself, you can try to make it iambic pentameter. Um, try to make it archaic, older style language. Make it irregular contractions, that kind of stuff. And so then I've given some examples of those elements from the poetic elements section here that you could also use. Um, for both the uh, last part of part one or this one for part two. When you use your highlighted elements um, from above, these you're going to use into an actual final product to make your own poem. And so here is an example of the poem. Now the big thing is, is that it says that you want to make sure to note what they are. And so one way that you can do that is actually to put it up here and do review and say new comment for each piece. Um, 
and I also did an example here below with this one. So here's, you know, becometh. The blue highlights are archaic language. Lines are written in am iambic pentameter, 10 beats with unstressed, then stressed, repeated. Uh, the green ones, that's a hyperbole. So just like that, done, done, and done. So you can write your finalized poem or just the draft here, and then you can, you know, put it into a PowerPoint, read it aloud on a video if you want. That's just the uh, extra piece to it. And that is it. If you have further questions, need more help on it, feel free to reach out to me. I'm here for you. Um, and have, and good luck.